We're the largest provider of women's reproductive health care in the country. This is what we've been doing for 100 years. I feel like we keep getting better at it. Mm, not exactly, Cecile. There are thousands of taxpayer-funded community health centers that provide far more women's health care than Planned Parenthood. In 2015, these community health centers provided 521,568 mammograms. Planned Parenthood provided zilch, zero, nada. This network of community health centers provided 1.8 million pap tests. Planned Parenthood provided less than 300,000. In the same year, community health centers provided prenatal services to 552,150 individual patients. Planned Parenthood provided only 9,419 prenatal services to even less individual patients. Community health centers intentionally delivered 292,286 babies alive. Planned Parenthood aborted 328,348 babies, delivering zero alive. The only service that Planned Parenthood has gotten better at, thanks to half a billion annual taxpayer dollars, is expanding its share of the nation's total abortions. In fact, since Cecile Richards took over as president of Planned Parenthood in 2006, every single major medical service to women, you know, the ones that are actual health care, have plummeted. Breast cancer screenings have fallen 64%. Pap tests have plunged 72%. Colposcopy procedures have tanked 62%. And since 2009, prenatal care has nearly become extinct, dropping 73%. The minimal health care that Planned Parenthood provides to women doesn't fill their bank accounts. Abortion does. More than 50% of it which is why each Planned Parenthood affiliate has a quota for how many abortions they're supposed to commit. Planned Parenthood lies to the women who work for them and to the customers lured by their propaganda. This is what happens when Planned Parenthoods across the country care less, no matter what. You deserve better than abortion and the abortion industry. We can help. Learn more at abortionworker.com.